Right, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, today is the day, as you can tell by the title, it is my time to move to Australia. I am so, so excited. Got about four hours until my flight. I'm all packed, just gonna head downstairs, hop in a tuk-tuk, obviously, classic me, and then head to the airport. Before I go though, I just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone who has tuned in, subscribed, and supported me so far with the videos. It's been absolutely amazing to grow this channel further, and I cannot wait to continue to post more content down the line. Thailand and Cambodia have been absolutely amazing. The last two months has been just unreal. I will definitely be returning to Asia in the future. There are a lot more countries that I want to um, explore and travel, but obviously some countries aren't as lenient as others in Asia um, with like COVID and things like that. Like I've always wanted to go to Vietnam. They're a bit iffy at the moment. Some things are up and down, but I'm only 21. Got plenty of life ahead of me to enjoy. I've only been in Cambodia for a short while, but it's been fantastic. I've really enjoyed it. And again, I apologize that I'm really bad at pronouncing things. I did a little post on the community bit on my page just explaining why I mispronounce things basically most of the places I've been to I pronounced them how they're first said to me the first time I ever heard of CM Reap it was told to me as Siam Rep so my brain is just like oh okay that's how you say it and it is weird not to pronounce things right when these are travel vlogs I've got some clothes here that I'm just not wearing anymore so I thought I'd leave them here a little note here saying please donate so hopefully they get given to someone. These are my sister's goggles. Sorry, Pops, I'm getting rid of these. I have no use for them anymore. And I'm not sending them back, just buy another pair. Just a pair of socks, a few tops, they're all washed and cleaned. So yeah, au revoir to them. Okay, so this is where things went drastically downhill. So I hopped on my tuk-tuk and headed to the airport as planned. You know, just taking in the city one last time before heading to Singapore. But when I go to the check-in at the airport, the airline were like, nah, you're not allowed on because you don't have like this document thingy or whatever. So I'm like, oh God, what do I do? Long story short, I had to go back to the hotel and my dad helped me book another flight for that night. But instead I was to fly back to Bangkok and then straight to Sydney. But this meant I needed to get another coach COVID test done as the new flight was past the 24 hour time limit. So I had to dash to a medical center, praying they would let me do one then and there. They did, so absolute legends. And thankfully your boy was negative. So I left the hotel again, headed back to the airport to meet the busiest terminal I'd ever seen, like literal mayhem. It was the most stressful day of my life and the last thing I wanted to do was vlog. But we finally made it onto the plane and flew to Bangkok. I had a massive layover, so I found this really nice lounge, got myself all snug with a drink and some grub. They had a great variety for me to dive into. So I kicked my feet up up and watch the bees and even managed to have a shower which was a bonus so all was good in the end luckily and now the vlog will restart as i go to board the plane to sydney hello everyone and after a 10 hour layover it's time to head to my gate to finally get on my flight to sydney has not gone to plan hasn't gone the way i thought it would but you know what we're here that's all that matters i'm so happy honestly i'm buzzing this vlog is probably just going to be such a mess best investment i've ever done getting that lounge honestly worth every penny but now it is officially time to leave asia a lot later than i thought i would be but wow what a place cannot wait to return one day and explore travel the many more countries that this fantastic continent has to offer. Here we go, gate E3 to Sydney. Let's do it. Right everyone, here we are finally in Sydney. I cannot believe I'm back. It's been over two years since I was last in Sydney and I just, it feels like it's been a week now that I'm here. Like I just popped in to my old workplace to see some people. Now just taking a walk down the harbour. Just gonna have a little walk around, get used to the place again, check out the opera house, of course. But yeah, it's so weird to be back. I'm so excited though. I'm in a hostel for like the next week. Gonna get to know some people. It's got like this underground club. It's gonna be sick. Sydney is looking very grey at the moment. I don't know if you've seen, but they have had some horrendous floods around the area in recent weeks. It is still quite warm though, obviously. I've gone from 36 degrees in Cambodia to like 21 here. And you know what? I don't mind it. 
I quite like it. I'm trying to figure out if these buildings here were actually here the last time that I was in Sydney. This massive hotel here, I, I don't think it was here. They're still in the process of building a few more like big hotels now. I have a feeling they've popped these up in the last few years. The blue sky is poking through. I'm wearing cargo trousers and I've got a long sleeve top. What is wrong with me? I see it, I see it. Hi, right, it's good to see the Opera House again. Gotta head down to where the bars are, grab a drink. You've just got to while you're here. It's a really strange feeling because I lived in Sydney for quite a big period of time. I'm just walking around like I know the location and stuff. I know where I am, I don't feel lost. But even though I've seen it before, it's just so class to be back. Last night, I literally just got straight into my hostel and was like, I am sleeping. I'm still like four hours behind, I think, with jet lag. I just need to force myself through this day, have a good night tonight, and hopefully I'll be decent tomorrow. Blue sky and the sun poking back through as well. Absolute result. Just realised it's St. Patrick's Day on Thursday. I think St. Patrick's Day is quite a big thing here, so definitely going to have to get a motive for that. Oh my god, it was so cool when I left my hostel. I'm in all black. This is horrendous. God, that's gotten hot, hasn't it? But here we are reunited with the Sydney Opera House in all its glory. I can't even explain the feeling of like being here again. Like the only way you'd understand is if you were me. It's like being at like a second home, if you know what I mean. Really bizarre. Got a nice schmiddy of Australian lager. Not gonna disclaim how much that was. Right, all done with our drink. Lovely little chill spot. Enjoying the view. It's good to be back. I'm going to have said that a lot by the time this video ends. But it is very good to be back. Going to head back to the hostel. Going to hop on the metro just because it's a bit quicker. And something else for the vlog. Content is content. Need to charge up my phone. Chill out for a bit. It is a free pizza night tonight. And then, yeah, to see where the night takes us, really. Got to go out, meet some people. But just winging it. And that's the way I like it. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my God. This is hectic. Jesus. I've never seen it this busy. That was absolutely jam packed. That metro was absolutely chock-a-block. So glad I'm off it. Right, so this is my hostel. First hostel I've stayed in since I've started traveling again. I have stayed in this hostel before. It is a decent one. It has got a club downstairs. It's very clean as well, which is, you know, very important. A mate I've met, oh, travel friends is staying there. But because someone who's staying there, I don't know them. I've part of my towel as like a little blocker. So it's kind of like having my own little room. Got a power box up here so I can charge my stuff. It's got Wi-Fi, got a big old locker to myself. So yeah, it's decent. Right guys, we've actually jumped forward quite a while now. This, um, when I'm recording this, I've actually got two more videos ahead of this one. Basically, the next video that's gonna come out, I was like planning on merging it with what I did today because i was like oh no it's not going to be as long like it's going to be a super short video like three four minutes because i'm just traveling but it's ended up being like near nine minutes which is okay everything's just a bit mental at the moment like i'm still trying to like settle and things like that and you'll find out what i've been getting up to in the next few vlogs so make sure you stick around for those ones so yeah if the next few videos seem a bit like weird or disjointed in any way i don't know if they will but just in case then you know heads up just telling you this in advance just so you know a few of you may just be like oh these aren't as structured as they been when he was in asia and i've also got a haircut on my beard done in this segment which is like after the next few videos <laughs> I'm, I'm just all over the place i need to go into outro mode for like a week ago so yeah i had a great time flying back into sydney had a little sleep and then checked out the sydney opera house today had a drink got on the metro and things like that oh my god this was like a week ago i'm not going to spoil anything for the next few videos we'll just have to see those as they come out but of course it is amazing to be back if you did enjoy make sure you smash the like button guys comment down below any questions you may have for me about my travels and i'll be happy to answer for you make sure to subscribe if you haven't already be sure to join the channel that'd be really really appreciated and now it's time to sign off but until my next vlog from sydney australia take care as always and goodbye